David Bennett knows how to work a crowd. I was on time for the job, but I don't have it no more. <laughs> but could he work a bill through Congress? The former coach told the Conway Rotary Club Thursday that he was contacted more than a month ago by someone active in politics who urged him to run for the 7th district seat. He turned down the idea three times, he says, but then a member of his family said something that made him reconsider. Our son Jeb said, Daddy, what if the timing of this is God's plan and this is what you're supposed to do? And I said, well, boy, I said, I, I, I don't know, but uh, we're going to continue to pray about this and and see where it leads us. Bennett says his faith leads him to hope whoever wins the race will put God first and focus on what has been a big concern for him, improving the lives of young people. The number one thing is uh, taking care of our children, you know, in our schools, getting jobs, more jobs for our people. Uh, we're a very unemployed area, and so there are a lot of issues uh, that need to be addressed. Bennett coached the Chanticleers for 11 seasons before being dismissed in December. Now he volunteers as a coach for his son's high school golf team and keeps busy doing speaking engagements. Though he has never run for office before, one Rotary Club member who's long been active in Republican politics says Bennett could become a top candidate in the race. But he'd come in with open mind, with no preconceived uh, ideas. I think he would be an outstanding candidate.